Guess there's no uh, audio adjustments. I'll have to do that manually. Wiki wiki, sleepy bones. It's your last day at home, but that doesn't mean you can skip your chores. Come over here and give your old man a hand. Hope. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh, there he is. Hey. Oh. So first off, uh, these crops need harvesting. We've been for a very long journey out there. After all, you'll get to decide which island you choose to become your new home. I don't want you leaving home empty-handed and hungry. Right then, roll your sleeves up and let's get these crops harvested. Oh, and could you also grab that lily pad on the shore too? Did it. Let's go over the basics. Useful plants. Remember what I taught you. Flax is good for taming spirits. That's the one that looks like little purple flowers. Stone fruit. This big round lad is best for restoring stamina. And lily pads have healing properties. They taste awful though. All these plants are spring crops, so keep an eye out for useful plants in other seasons. Good job. Lesson 2. Harvesting seeds. You'll need seeds to grow more of the same plant. If you want to get seeds, you have to cut down the plant. Use your scythe to harvest seeds from any plant, even wild ones. Come over here and harvest the seeds in this plot. seeds inside it. You can also use the holes that are already here if you don't want to make new ones, I suppose. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay, how do I plant? Oh. <laughs> I already dug E. 
Oh, I can use E or right click. Oh, seeds. Oh, 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 oh. I solved the mystery cake. I really did it. <laughs> Once the seeds are planted, you have to tend to them to help them grow. Take this watering can and give those seeds a drink. They're thirsty lads, aren't they? need to be watered every day. If not, they'll wither and die and you'll lose all your hard work. Of course, you can always hope for a rainy day to do the job for you. But stay there a tick. There's something else I want you to have. See, I've been raising three spirits in secret. They still need plenty more training, but they'll be strong enough to keep you safe. You might have seen this before. It's your mother's medallion. It's a sort of portal to a pocket dimension where spirits can reside. This medallion is yours now, and I've put the spirits I've been training in there already. Pop into the medallion and choose one to have as your companion. It isn't a test. Don't worry. They're all good. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Few cards and stats. Ice water. <laughs> Bad temper. Automatically gains one rage every three turns. Okay. First time up. Capacity. <laughs> Ball suit at zero HP. Its HP is restored to ten. Electric. Dark ice. Capacity. <laughs> That's so cute. Who's this guy? He looks sleepy. Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fire water psychic. Hot to touch. Anytime sheep takes fire damage, it applies burn equal to its power to a random enemy. I kind of like sheep. Mostly because I very often put random M's in words. <laughs> Is he gonna follow me out? Sheep! <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Great choice. I thought you might choose that one. I'm sure you two will take good care of each other. Don't worry about the other two. Your mother and I will take care of them. Oh, look over there. A wild spirit. This is perfect timing. Get over there and show me what you and your spirit can do. Hey. <laughs> Looks like this gambling has higher speed than your spirit, so it gets to make the first move. Okay. Rock throw. Ouch. My sheen. Time for lesson four, banishing spirits. You need to subdue these spirits to pacify them. They're not supposed to be this aggressive. The most important thing to remember, armor blocks attack damage. Reduce their armor to zero to make them dizzy and deal extra damage. You can reduce armor in two ways, using a card that removes armor or attacking with an element they're weak to. Try using bash to reduce the gemlin's armor and leave it open to attack. Bash. Perfect. The bond between you and your spirit is already strong. Don't forget, if you reduce your opponent's armor to zero, it will get dizzy. 
being dizzy makes them miss the next turn, which is your chance to deal more damage. Now, you've got two energy left, so play two more cards. your turn now and let's see what this wild spirit does. Hold R. Oh, ouchie. That hurt. Oh dear, that looks like it hurts. Just to be safe, you should heal your spirit. Remember, I told you that lily pads are good for healing. Use the feed action and feed a lily pad to your spirit now. looking much healthier. <laughs> Looks like Gemlin is about to use Earthquake on you though. With the right moves, you might be able to stop that from happening. Now, use another Bash card to bring the Gemlin's armor to zero. Get rid of that armor and you'll make them dizzy so they can't attack. Okay. <laughs> oh, brilliantly done. Nice work. Now you've got the upper hand. Damage dealt to a spirit with no armor is much higher than usual. Bring its HP to zero and banish it to the great beyond. flower and six coins. Great work. One more thing. Lesson 4.5, I suppose. Spirits can be tamed and brought into your medallion. Tame a spirit and you can use it in future battles. Remember to have flax on hand for taming spirit. For taming spirits love it. Oh my goodness. Sweetheart, are you done out there? Come back to the house. I have something else to give you before you go. It's so cute. I love the art. I love pixel art so much. You look wiped out. Did your father have you banishing spirits for him? Of course he did. I'll make you a cup of tea, you poor thing. Why don't you eat one of those stone fruit you harvested to gain back some of your energy? Journal. Oh, J. Classic. Restore your stamina and feed your spirit. Okay. <laughs> That's better. And now that your dad's done with you, I want to tell you about the medallion he gave you. The medallion used to be mine, and now we are passing it down to you. Your moonstone medallion is a sacred tool invented by alchemists that came before us. Within it lies a pocket dimension that can house up to three spirits. The spirits you keep in this medallion will come to your aid should you need help. You can also build a barn to house them in, which I think is a lot cozier. I know this is all a bit confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. Looks like that fight you had earlier got you enough experience. Why don't you try leveling up one of your spirits? You can do that by entering your medallion. While you're in there, feed them this Nimbus plant too. It'll make them strong for your journey tonight. Oh. Oh. Choose a stat to upgrade. Mm -hmm. 
active speed. Let's use a card out of the deck. Perception. Retreat. Deal two damage two times. Okay. And then she's had to feed him this. Oops. Okay. Sweet man got some food. Thank you for doing that. Your father is all about the fighting, but you have to take care of your spirits too. Now, your spirit should have the strength they need to keep you safe. I can't believe you're leaving home today. I'll miss you so much. But you'll only be gone for a year, right? Then you'll have completed your alchemy training. I'm so proud of you. Are you sure you're ready to go? Yeah. Alright then, this is it. Next time I see you, you'll be a fully fledged alchemist. This is one last gift for you, kid. I made you these tools. They're not much, but they'll get you started out there. Now, give your dad a hug. We're both so proud of you. <laughs> Here's a few seeds from the garden. I've been saving them for you. Plant them as soon as you settle in, okay? You'll need them for your <laughs> big adventure. <laughs> Just remember, we'll be with you wherever you are, wherever you decide to call home. And we love you so much. And I'm so proud to see you following in our footsteps, sweetheart. You're going to make a great alchemist. Remember, all alchemists share a love of things that grow. That applies not only to your crops, but also to the people around you. Oh, my darling, I'm so excited to see who you grow into. Just promise me you'll be safe out there. The world is changing, becoming more dangerous. I promise. We need you back in one piece, okay? Well, the wind is starting to pick up. I guess it's time for me to let you go. Time for the final lesson. Charge that broom up, then release its energy to catch the wind. And be safe, okay? We love you. shrines and heading dungeons. Don't worry, we'll only have to do this once. Thanks for waiting. This is such a sweet little game. I feel like from like the games that I've played, I feel like it's a cross between like Stardew Valley, Pokemon, and like Hearthstone. And, oh my gosh, <laughs> it is so cute. The music is cute. I love the art style. The design is so good already. I wish they had settings for adjusting the sound. I think that's my only complaint. <laughs> oh. What's that light over there? Oh, there's a town up in the distance. Finally. I hope they need an alchemist. Because I really need to get off this broom. Broom. I think I'm getting splinters. Wow. This one is getting really strong. Is it supposed to be this hard to stay on the broom? Oh no. I think I'm losing control. How do you land this thing? Oh no, there goes my brand new broom. Ugh. And I dropped the tools dad gave me and mom's seeds. I guess I'm not leaving here anytime soon. I hope this isn't a bad omen. I better look around and see if I can find the tools and seeds I dropped. Oh. Seeds. 
What's that? A broken broom. Seed. The axe. Seeds. Are they all? There's the hammer. Where's my tent? What's glowing? asleep. Okay. No items sold. Sleepy time, even though I don't have a tent. You're up. Are you okay? I saw you drop out of the sky last night and then I found you passed out on the ground. So I got Quill to carry you here and I was worried you weren't going to wake up, but you did. I guess with that get up, you must be a new alchemist. How exciting. Or a new stunt performer. <laughs> anyway, you can stay in the spare room if you need somewhere to crash. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have said crash. That's really insensitive, isn't it? I mean, you can sleep here if you want. I have to charge her eventually, though. Oh, and I think these are your tools. I'll just leave them here for you. I found them scattered all over the place. I hope it's okay that I picked them up. Maybe you could get your tent set up on the north side of town if you clear a space for it. Don't be afraid to chop down trees and cut the grass if you need to. Then you'll have a place all to yourself. I guess you could set it up on one of the outer islands, but there are wild spirits out there. I think maybe you should take it easy for the time being. Anyway, take your time getting up. You seem pretty bruised up, but I don't think anything's broken. I might have some work for you too, so come downstairs when you're ready. Okay. Okay, I got all my tools back. Um. There's spots that are my tent. Mom told me. Explore the island and see if I can find any moonstones. Told me they glow at night, and there's usually just one stone on. Oh, okay, that's what I saw in the tree then. To complete my alchemy training, I have to spend a year away from home. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Oh, she an innkeeper. That's so cute. Hey! Oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name's Asono. And I run the tavern here on Moonstone Island. Come on by any time. Well, any time we're open, I mean. <laughs> oh, I've got something for you. It's a crafting recipe for a cell crate. Build one and place it wherever you get set up. You can drop anything you want to sell in there, like crops or items. I'll pick it up at the end of the day and pay you for everything that's in there. If you want more recipes, you'll have to find them, I'm afraid. I hear mines and dungeons are a good place to start. Oh. And one more thing. Can I ask you a quick favor? I also need some stone to rebuild some minor basement damage. Don't ask. If you have time, could you bring me some? Happy to help. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Just put the stones in the cell crate and I'll pick it up. Ask on a date. <laughs> oh my goodness. Back to work for me. It's the guitar. Can I play the guitar? I guess not. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Hmm. Weird outfit. Must be the new alchemist. I'm Guyana. I work in the conservatory. If you don't mind, I have somewhere I need to be. Bye. <laughs> I got a mail. 
Hi, sweetheart. Your dad thinks I'm silly for writing a letter so soon after you left, but I had a horrible dream that you broke your broom. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you. I'm sure you're fine, but I left you a crafting recipe for a balloon, in case you're not. And don't be afraid to build bridges if flying is too scary. When your dad was a new alchemist, he only used bridges to get in between islands. Hope you're doing all right, sweetie. Love, mom. X, 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 X. <laughs> Craft a balloon. Okay. So she said that I can... Oh. Moonstone mail. Congratulations on your subscription to Mailco and your ownership of a brand new mailbox. You can now receive letters through the mailboxes in your town and even craft your own. Mailco, it's good to get mail. She said an island on the north side of town. Is there? Oh! <laughs> so. Is this is this where I'm supposed to build? Because there's not really a wrong place. I just kind of do it wherever. Okay. Um. Yeah. I guess I'll go down here. What's mm. huh. up here? Oh, more seeds. I don't know. That seems good. All the way up at the top. Oh. I'm gonna have to learn 24 hour time. Very good at 24 hour time. Okay, this is for the rocks. with this. Oh, excellent. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay. I think I can set this up your home you can't pick it up until you craft another one. You sure you want to place it here? I suppose so. Good to know that I can craft another. Oh, I 
still need more wood. It has to be placed in a certain radius around me. Oh, I can move. Okay, I have to go to bed before. 2 a.m. That shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully I'm not getting too tired. I'll just chop things until I'm out of energy. Shouldn't be too much longer. I'm getting pretty exhausted. Okay. <laughs> Is there a ghost in my house? Hello. newsletter for people who are new in town. Issue 1. Hello, Sona here. Welcome to Moonstone Island. This is a newsletter. This is a newsletter that automatically goes out to everyone who moves here, like you. Step 1 of settling in. Get to know your new neighbors. Some people might even have jobs for you, which is great because then you can get money to spend at the tavern. That's all for issue 1 of Sona's newsletter. Stay tuned for more. Meet the local. A tavern. Yo, <laughs> you're the new mechanic. I mean, no. What was it? Alchemist. Alchemist. We haven't had one before, so I might forget the word again. Nice to meet you. Chat. Oh, is that? Okay. 
It's not actual dialogue. Blacksmith. Okay. Morning. Oh, it's you, the new alchemist, right? You're cuter than I thought you'd be. I was imagining some old guy with a beard. <laughs> Look, while I have you here, have you stumbled across any mines yet? They tend to be hidden under big rocks, so try breaking some open with your hammer. But not the rocks in town. Those are protected, and no Ophelia will kill you. Then just climb down the ladder into the dark. What could go wrong? Anyway, the reason I ask is because I need some copper ore. Bring me that, and I'll teach you how to make ingots, yeah? I'll even pay you full price for the ore. Win-win. Sounds fun. Furnace for a friend. Bye. <laughs> okay, is this a merchant? Shop opens at 7 tomorrow. I'm just gonna start walking into people's houses. Not good enough friends. Understood. Hmm? What's this? This is just someone's house. Okay. <laughs> How bizarre. Hi. Most people hate Wednesdays, but I think they're alright. Someone new. Hello. Oh, hi. You're new. Welcome to Moonstone Island. I run the shop here, and I can help you with supplies and stuff. Oh, and I'm Rowan. Sorry. Let me know if I can help you settle in. <laughs> Should we get back to it? Yes, yes, you're the alchemist. I'm Paolo, and I do all the carpentry work around here. I'm sure you've met some of the others in town already. Is everyone treating you well? We don't get newcomers that often. Chat. <laughs> Buenos dias. So just another island. Looks like we have a fisher. Lovely to see you. Ah, you've come from far away, aren't you? Welcome, welcome. We've been waiting such a long time. I'd offer to make you tea, but me kettle's broke. Oh, where's my manners? I'm Tobin. T O B I N. It's the boy who catches the fish, as they say. Lovely to meet you. Oh, I've got a little request for you. I heard you've been helping people out all over. See, I've heard tales of rare fish living on the most distant islands. I'd love to see them someday. If you catch any, could you sell them to me? I'll put them all in my trophy case for all to see. Anything for you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, all the characters are so sweet. Oh, another building. Lighthouse. Okay. Understandable. I don't want strangers in my bedroom either. There's a greenhouse. It's so cute. Hello. Mustaka. Ah, the alchemist Sono told me you'd arrived in style. I'm Ophelia, though you might hear some people call me Lena, too. I'm the botanist in town. I whip up cures for what ails them. Suppose you'll be doing that, too. Alchemist, I am so sorry to use you as hired help, but... 
Well, with the wild spirits running around, it has become too dangerous for us to collect seeds from the outer islands. The shop is suffering as a result. We no longer have the seed diversity that we used to. Since you'll be out in the outer islands for your job, do you think you could bring back some of the seeds you find? If you do, we'll be able to propagate them and make them available for purchase at the general store. Sure. Chat. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Aren't you cold wearing that? Let's see if there's anywhere else for me to go in. Seems like that's it. Although maybe... There's something over here. Alright, this is the tavern. And the windmill. building. Hello. Knock, knock. Hello. Oh, hello. You must be that new alchemist everyone's talking about. Always wanted to see an alchemist for Gally in real life. Wow. Nice to meet you. I'm Professor Zed. I run the science center. You should drop by when you've seen a few spirits. I'd love to talk research with you. Oh, before I forget, one more thing. It just so happens that I was recently awarded a grant to study the spirits that inhabit the outer islands. It's pretty dangerous work, and let's just say I'm more of a labs kind of scientist. So if you're up for it, I was thinking we could help each other out. I need you to bring me a spirit that it's that's at least level 5. You see, I can't do the dangerous field work like you can, but I can handle the boring academic bits. As a thank you, I'll have Paolo draw up some blueprints for a spirit barn, which you can use to house spirits. And you'll get a credit on the paper too. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I have thoroughly explored town. Oh. Is that a lily pad? Ah, yes. Can I? Oh, the cattails are good for something. Oh my goodness. Bye. Okay, I need three more stones. Let me get those. are done. Okay, got my first quest done. Wow. <laughs> okay. just not audio adjustment on the main screen. Okay. Battle difficulty, control hints, always sprint, screen shake, controller rumble. You can change the key bindings. Okay. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to to play around with the audio next time. Um, yeah. Okay. Well. This is so fun. It's such a good start. And 
I am so excited to play more of this game. So hopefully you had a good time. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully it was comfy and cozy to watch and be here. And I will see you guys again next time. Okay. Bye-bye.